Hello everyone, good morning and thanks for watching this GoCollector.com YouTube channel. Um, this is actually my third attempt at making this video because there's uh, people doing stuff around the house and I uh, can keep uh, being interrupted. I'm without water for the coming hour, apparently. Um, anyway, today I want to have a quick little chat about polyphasic sleep, specifically the everyman sleep cycle. Now in polyphasic sleep you take the block of sleep that you usually have each night and split it up over the day. Now there's actually some fun historical evidence that people used to do this um, as a normal thing. Uh, they would go to bed, sleep for a block, wake up for about an hour in the middle of the night, and then sleep again. And uh, there's uh, references in, for example, the story of Don Quixote about their first sleep and second sleep and how brave the guy was for not needing his second sleep. Um, but as a society, we kind of got away from that. I'm, I'm not saying that because of these kind of historical things, we need to switch back to them. We did a lot of things in the past that I wouldn't want to refer back to. Um, but in research where you, pe you um, put people in a cave where there's no light and no communication to the outside, you monitor them, actually their rhythm also cycles back to a biphasic sleep. So they sleep for a number of hours, they wake up, and then they sleep again. The, every month sleep, the polyphasic sleep cycles are not so much aimed towards optimal sleep. They're more gained towards productivity, how to have as many hours a day as possible. In the Uberman sleep cycle, for example, the most extreme form, at least I think it's the most extreme form, you have about five naps a day of 20 minutes, and for that, no sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so the majority of your day, vast majority of your day, spent awake. I didn't do this. I don't think I could. Uh, I did go for a model of writing called the Everyman sleep cycle where you sleep for about four and a half hours during the night and then have three 20 minute naps during the day. So that settles in about five and a half hours of, uh, of sleep each day. Now taking that example, five and a half hours each day, considering I need about eight to nine hours uh, of sleep to feel good, that gave me three hours a day. Times seven days a week is two to three working days that you just gain an extra time. Um, even on the mildest variant of polyphasic sleep, the biphasic sleep, where you basically sleep for a block and then have one nap during the day, you gain about an hour. And an hour doesn't seem like a lot, but an hour each day, again, times seven, is seven hours a week, is a full working day that you just have of extra time. Time you usually would have spent sleeping. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong, I love sleep. I think it's good. Uh, if you follow any of my posts on skillcollector.com, you know that I write about lucid dreaming as well. And dreaming just doesn't work for me in polyphasic sleep. When I did this, uh, this two-month experiment, uh, one of the main downsides was that I couldn't remember my dreams at all. Uh, and that's one of the factors also why I didn't like, uh, like doing it. I'd hoped, uh, as I found in my interview with, uh, with one of the lucid dreamers, um, that I was one of those people who can remember their dreams better on polyphasic sleep, but nope, too bad. So the advantages are extra time in a day. Disadvantages are, well, obvious. It's hard to maintain socially, and actually it's also hard to get into it. <laughs> it's not that you can switch from one day to the next and then suddenly you feel all great on this, on this new sleep schedule. It took me about a week or two to, uh, to get used to it. I had some very interesting uh, uh, mood swings during that period, mostly for the better. I would just be suddenly super happy in the middle of the day, bouncing around, it made absolutely no sense. But it was fun. Um, that combined with the extra time in the day to be social, do work, read, whatever, it was, um, it was a good, uh, good experiment. After those two months, I met my current girlfriend, and you can't really do that kind of a schedule unless you're both on it, and nope. Currently I'm doing the biphasic sleep, so I sleep seven hours, uh, seven and a half hours a night and 20 minutes during the day. For a lot of people that seems like a lot of sleep already, for me that's an hour extra of waking time. <laughs> I have high sleep needs, um, which on the one hand sucks, on the other hand it's, uh, it's, it's great. Anyway, if you want to start doing a polyphasic sleep, there is a number of things to take into account. The first is choosing the right schedule. That is rather... Uh, important. You might be tempted to go all extreme and say, I want to do the Uberman schedule and sleep only an hour or two a day. Fine. Send me an email about it. I'd love to hear your experience. But 
make sure you can actually do that. You're going to have to have five naps a day very consistently. If you don't stick to your schedule on polyphasic sleep, you're screwed, especially on a very um, nap heavy schedule like Uberman. If you miss a nap, you're going to feel very bad <laughs> for a while. I chose the Everyman because it's a bit more flexible. And the rule of thumb is the more naps you have, the more you need to stick to your schedule in general. And the milder your uh, your um, cycle is, the yeah, more flexibility you have in your nap. So for me on biphasic sleep, it doesn't matter if I have my nap at 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, so long as I do have it. Um, but as soon as you already have two naps, then your window is only one and a half hour plus around your usual nap time. Um, one of the things to take into account is make sure you have stuff to do. Sounds weird because most people feel that they have too much stuff to do in too little time. But once you are on a polyphasic sleep schedule, especially one of the more dramatic ones, you're suddenly going to have a lot of time. And I didn't expect I could ever say this, but I had too much. I started taking on extra things just to have stuff to do. Because watching TV series or movies is not a good way to pass your time. On the one hand, you're asking for extra hours in a day, kind of for productivity and, you know, watching TV series is not the best. To sitting in a dark room when you're on uh, the Everyman or Uberman schedules in the dark, you're going to fall asleep. Uh, or at least it's not going to be the most optimal experience. So if you do, make sure you have light. Uh, apparently for some people this works better in summer than in winter because in winter your body has higher metabolic needs because of the cold so basically you get cold you need to burn more energy so yeah that's uh, that's kind of my experience if you want to do this also do your research uh, personally i try to find everything i could about it but the research is kind of sparse um, when it comes to rigorous research there is a one guy who really did a lot of it of this research but there isn't a lot of, for example, brainwave data available or because uh, there's a lot of theories about whether um, polyphasic sleep puts you in REM sleep, so the, the dreaming state very quickly, uh, or there it doesn't put you in there at all. Yeah, because in plenty of research, if you don't have light sleep, you pretty much go insane. Then again, other people suggest other things, etc., etc. But sleep in science is one of those things where we wish we knew more and we kind of pretend we know, but actually we don't really have any idea how it works. We have some indications though, and that's the things you want to know before you start. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to mail me. You can um, contact me through skillcollector.com. If you like these videos, subscribe on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter and of course, check out the blog. And if you want to share stuff like this, I'll be very much obliged. Um, I've not done these kind of video casts before, so I hope you like them and feedback's very welcome. So have a nice day.